Hey guys, how's it going? It's Pocket, and today I'm going to show you how to speed up iOS 9 and 10. So let's get started. In this video, I have concluded every single tip that I could find to help you out to speed up this bad boy. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you find it very useful. Tip number one free up storage and clean up junk files. This is probably one of the most important tips I'm going to show you today. If you have many files on your device, such as applications, videos, and photos, it will be a very good idea to start deleting some. A good idea is to move your photos and videos to your personal computer or to another storage device, and try to delete some useless apps on your device. That way, you're gonna see a massive improvement on the performance of your device. Tip number two, download Battery Saver. Battery Saver is a free application from App Store, and you can find it by typing here, Battery Saver and it should be the second on the search list. Make sure to click on it, download it, and once you download it, open it, and you should see the percentage of your battery life. And the thing, that, the reason I like this, this application very much is because you can speed up the memory and even clean up junk files that you, have, you may have on your app device. So first go to memory, click on boost memory, and then go back after it's finished, and then go to clean junk, Click OK, and then it will tell you how much junk files have been deleted. In my case, uh, only 9 megabytes have been cleaned, and that's, because it, and that's because I use the app a lot, maybe even once per day because I've got 16 gigs on my device, very low, so I have to use it all the time to clean any possible junk file on exists on my Apple device in order to keep adding stuff on my device because I need to delete every single thing that I add on the device. Tip number three, turn off any special effect iOS 10 offer you or iOS 9. So these are effects like motion, so if you tilt your device, you may see your background moving. And the other one is increased contrast. I'm not entirely sure what increased contrast is, but I know that it reduces a little bit the processing power and the battery life as well. So Go to settings, then go to general, accessibility, and then find where it says increase contrast. Make sure it's off. Next, go to reduce motion and make sure it's on. And once you go back and you tell your device, you won't see the background moving. And that will improve the processing power as well. Next, go again to settings, but this time, go to background refresh and then turn off and that will also increase the battery life but also will increase the processing power then navigate to settings navigate to itunes and app store and make sure all of the automatic downloads is off that will prevent your uh, your apple device to download automatically from the itunes or app store or new apps or stuff like that directly to your iphone this will reduce your iPhone when you're connected to the Wi-Fi. Tip number four, update every app you have on your Apple device. The reason that developers update their apps is because they may have found a bug which prevents the app from running the maximum or even a bug which will force quit the app from working. Therefore, I highly recommend you to go to apps to the App Store and then go to the updates and then update all of these apps or you can click on update all. Tip number five, speed up Safari and internet access. This can be done by resetting network settings, deleting website data, and then removing all tabs that you have on Safari. So first go to settings, then go to general, scroll down to reset section, and then find where it says reset network settings. Remember, this will reset every single network settings, including pre-accessed Wi-Fi, and stuff like that. So the issue with that is because you may have been joining, joined to a Wi-Fi and this may have caused you, your device to run a bit slower when you access the, the internet. So if you reset network settings, this might fix the issue. But if you really don't want to do it, then just leave it, it's not that necessary. But the next tip is going to be very important. So go back to from general and then go to Safari and then Go where it says clear history and website data. This will remove everything that you have stored uh, from like passwords, like emails and stuff like that, cookies, all this stuff will be removed from your device and also all 
the history search that you have done. So for example, if you, if you have been to Facebook uh, two days ago, this will be removed. So this really if you want to do it. Next, go to Safari, and then go to tabs, and then remove all, the ta all of these tabs that you have um, previously accessed. And this will really speed up Safari because and even I had issues when I had opened multiple tabs and Safari was being very slow. So make sure to remove all the tabs to speed up Safari a little bit. Tip number six, disable power saving mode. By enabling power saving mode, we will reduce the processing power and other features which take a lot of battery life. So if you really into speeding up your device, battery power saving mode is the number one source of reducing the speed of your device. So go to settings, so go to settings, and then navigate to battery, and make sure low power mode is off. Tip number seven, disable all application notifications. If you have downloaded loads of apps, and you have, and you have enabled notification on all of them, your device gets a bit slower. And even if you turn on Wi-Fi, and some applications access Wi-Fi, you're gonna immediately get many notifications from these apps which only work whenever you have Wi-Fi on. So to disable all notifications, go to settings, and then go to notifications, and then disable notifications for all, all these apps. So for example, if you go to, the, to this one, you can disable notifications, and then go to each one and disable notifications on every single app. And also this is going to save battery life on your Apple device as well. Tip number eight, disable spotlight search. This is a feature which allows you to search for an app if you cannot find it on your, on your device. So this can be done by switching down and then typing the name of the app. This actually, you, you don't realize that this can make your device a bit slower. So you, you have the option to disable. So go to settings and then from search, type spotlight search. Here you can disable all of these apps. And this will make a massive change, basically not a massive, but a change on the speed of the device. Tip number nine, close any background running application. If for example, you launch an application and then you press on the home button, the application is not being quit, but rather st is still running on the background. It's like minimizing a window on your computer. So in order to close all the background applications, you need to double click on the home button and then swipe up all of this background application running. This will increase the RAM capacity and also your device will run a lot faster. Tip number 10, reboot your device. If you haven't done this for a long time, make sure to do this right now. This will remove everything that is on the RAM and also will make your device faster. So this can be done by holding down the power button and the home button for 10 seconds until you see the app logo again. And last one, tip number 11, factory reset your device. But bear in mind that this will remove every single data existing on your device. So I highly recommend you to back up your data first using iTunes. I've got a separate video for that if you really want to check it out. But don't do it unless you really want to do it. So this can be done by going to settings and then go to touch ID and passcode. Tap here your passcode and then scroll down until you see erase data. Turn on and then click on enable. And then you should and then follow all the instructions and then everything from your iPhone will be deleted. However, I highly recommend you to do this by going to iTunes and connect your device to your computer. Go to iTunes and click on restore and that will be more reliable. But if you really want to do it on your phone and you don't have a computer, then just do it from here. And trust me, by factory resetting is the most effective way to get your device back to its shape. So that was the video for the guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now go ahead and enjoy your very fast brand new device that you had previously. If you find this video helpful, make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, hit the subscribe button if you're a new visitor and make lots of videos like that. And also make sure to share this video to your friends so you can solve the, their issues with your device. And as always, I'm gonna see you to my next video.